Super unconventional type of video for me today, but I wanted to share this. I'm actually here on a road trip, got the car right there, and uh, I'm on my way to LA right now, and just was, you know, having some thoughts that I wanted to just kind of pull over and share with you guys while I'm, while I'm here. So what I want to talk about today, specifically for musicians, was the difference between hating your journey and falling in love with the journey. And I saw a post on this guy's Instagram. His name's The Awakened Creative. He's super dope. And he shared something that I feel like is something I've also gone through. Recently, I've realized that I have been much more in love with my process than I used to be. I used to hate my process. I used to hate the process. You ever hear people say, trust the process? I used to hate the process because I was broke and my music wasn't making me money and I didn't know how my music was gonna make me money and I just didn't know what was gonna happen. And what I've realized is sometimes as up and coming musicians, like we put way too much financial pressure on the music itself and we don't actually like get to the point where we love just making the music because it doesn't bring in the money. I know I went through that. So how do you solve that? Well, as much as we hate to admit it, maybe you just need to get a job. Like I've had to work so many different part-time jobs, DoorDash, uh, social media management, basketball trainings, coffee shop, bro, all types of side hustles that I've had to do before I was able to build up the music biz. And it's funny that when you take off the financial pressure from the music and from the process of whatever it is you want to build, it makes the process of building that much more fun. Like when you don't need money from your business, you're able to put the right type of energy into your business. So let's say you're an artist and you wanna learn how to make money as an artist. You don't wanna produce for other people. You wanna make money from your music. The truth is, if you don't have a job and you're solely relying on your music but you have no money making skills, no marketing skills, and the only skills you have are music, you're gonna have a really, really tough time not just making money with music but you're gonna have a tough time mentally. And so my recommendation in that regard is get a job. When it comes to the artists that I personally mentor, like the ones that seem to do a lot better are the ones that have jobs coming into working with me. As much as it seems like the ones who don't have jobs would be more dedicated, they're actually not because they're in this place of desperation so much. They're not able to understand like, hey, this process takes time, whether it's working with me or another person or whatever. It's like this process takes time. And if you don't feel like you have that time because you're so desperate for money now, you're not gonna put the right type of energy and work into it. On the flip, it is also important to have a sense of urgency, like, hey, I wanna get this done now. I wanna make my goals happen now. That's good. But if you're from this place of desperation, you're not gonna have the right energy. And you know where I really learned this? I didn't learn it from a guru, a book, or a course. I learned it from my, my wife. My wife was the one who really taught me, never make a move out of desperation. I thought that was interesting because it's such a powerful personal development lesson that that I learned and I didn't learn it from like a conventional personal development book or course or YouTube video. I learned it from my wife because she noticed that when we had first gotten married, she noticed that I was making moves in my life that were really out of desperation, short term. And she kept saying to me, you're not making good decisions because you keep making decisions out of your needs now and not your needs for the future. She didn't say it exactly like that, but that was what she was getting at. And I was like, wait, that's hella true. And when I switched from, I'm gonna make a move now that's uncomfortable for me now, but will benefit me in the future, that's when life started to really get better. That's when I started getting more results. That's when I started having a better mindset was realizing that I don't need to make decisions because I'm desperate right now. And I heard something else from another person on Instagram, I don't remember who it was, but she had heard it from Cat Williams, this famous comedian, I don't remember what her name is, but she was talking about Cat Williams and he had said, make decisions based on your talent. Don't make decisions based on like your desperation. If you're broke, you need money, and so you have you come from this place of need, not from a place of want. I also heard that from Matthew McConaughey. Don't ever go into a business meeting or an opportunity where you need it. Don't have that need, and even if you feel like you need it, well, I need this money to pay bills for the month. I need this money to eat. We tell ourselves this story, I need the money to eat. It's like, people smell need. People don't wanna work with people who need something. 
Because people who need something generally don't have anything to give. Let me repeat that. People who need something don't have anything to give. No one wants to work with you if you can't give them anything. People only want to work with you if you can give them something. If you're somebody, for example, if you're a, if you're somebody, let's say for example, you're a musician. And again, you're an artist and you're wanting to make money from your music. If you need money from your music, you're not going to be able to sell it because every all of your fans are going to know you need money and you're going to come at them with the need for money and your fans are going to feel like, oh, he just wants to make, he or she just wants to make money. He or she just wants me to listen to them. And you can tell, you can tell all the artists who are like, yo, stream my new song and they spam you with their links and they're super spammy. It's like, you have nothing to give me. Your music isn't special. None of our music is special. None. None of our music is special enough to where we can just say, yo, stream the new song. None. Nobody, not yours, not mine, not Drake's, not The Weeknd's. Nobody cares. People care about, everyone cares about themselves. If you can look at your fans and just say, my fans don't care about my music, they care about themselves. How can I also join the party of caring about them? If you can say, hey, listen, maybe a dialogue is like just presenting your music in a better way. For me personally, I have this new song with my friends Gabe and Jason called Samo. And instead of us, instead of me being like, go stream the new song, go stream the new song, go stream the new song. You know what I did? I made five videos of my feature. I, I'm a feature. I have one verse on the song. So instead of me saying, hey, go stream the song, you know what I did instead? I said, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make five different videos for that verse that are super high performing looking videos, like high quality. I, I you know, had my own, a videographer. We're going to make five videos and I'm going to just frequently post the video instead of saying, go stream the song, meaning I want to take from you. I'm going to be like, hey, here you go. I'm presenting you something. You're already scrolling. Let me just make your day more enjoyable. Of, make, make your day of scrolling more enjoyable. Here you go. Here's my video. Now people are like, oh, cool. He just handed me something for free. And if they want to go stream it, they know what to do. I put the title. I put the name of the song. If you want to go stream the song, y'all know what to do. I'm not going to say, hey, go link in bio. I, you, you already know what to do. Go to your streaming platforms. Go stream it. Everyone knows how to go stream music. Everyone knows how to go look it up. If they like the song enough, they'll go stream it. You feel me? So instead of asking your fans for stuff and coming from this place of need and desperation, switch your brain. And you know what the problem is? If you're truly broke and you truly can't pay your bills right now, don't put, don't make music the reason you need to go pay bills. Go get a job. I know it sounds shitty. I know it's uncomfortable. I know we're too cool for school, but seriously, it's been a big help, you know, going to get part-time jobs, going to get side hustles, just going to do anything you can is huge. And it's gonna take the pressure off the actual music itself. So this is kind of more of like a mindset thing today, not really exactly super tactical, but it's more of a mindset thing rather than, you know, like a tactical piece of advice. So I hope it helped. If it did, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, all right? So thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate you and I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.